Good morning, Solid Steppers. This is Ms. Ward coming to you from South Florida early morning. Headed to my first seven, my call this morning. My first call is at 7 a.m. Got a huge day ahead of me. Been up since four, getting everything in order. Because if you don't plan, plan to fail, people. You gotta get up and plan for success. It don't come to you. You have to go get it all day long. Good morning, Gio. I just saw your text, Egghead. I'll call you after the call, after the video. Anyway, moving on. Um, you know, I just want to say some thank yous. I was thinking this morning, and I really feel the need to do an open letter to two people. And so I'm going to make a special video for them. I really was thinking about it. And one's going to be Michael Sneed of Appliance Boot Camp. You know, everything you see with Miss Ward as far as appliance repair, this would have never happened if Mr. Sneed did not come up with the concept of appliance boot camp. And with JT Automations, if JT hadn't helped him and they teamed up to do something great, you know, and the, with the marketing and just bringing it to us and the YouTube, I think it's phenomenal. You know, and I think that most times people overlook the fact that there are key factors in life that make you not only who you are, but affect the trajectory of your life. I know that I would probably still be a corporate, hate my life, maybe doing a little something here and there on the side. But if it wasn't for Mr. Sneed and JT Automations and Mr. Sneed with his continuous support and encouragement, you know, him pushing me out of the nest. Because like, you know, the thing about uh, Mike is Mike is real humble and he laid back and cool with everything but he's a brilliant man and I have a lot of respect for him because he is showing people that you can be self-sufficient but you can't have no fear you got to get out here and just do it you know Mike and I always talk about why is it so hard for guys to get out here and blah 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 you know it's difficult for some of the girls too but the reality is when it comes to business it's hard for anybody to step out because it's those first steps, you know, and it's all part of life. But the reality is you're going to have to get off your ass and do something. It ain't coming to you. And so I just want to send a special shout out to Mike uh, Sneed for creating Appliance Boot Camp, which was my first real exposure to the industry. Now, I took the blueprint, the appliance boot camp, and I made it mine. I tweaked it to my personality, my character, and my strengths. And a lot of times, people don't understand, you can't be Miss Ward, so don't be. Be you. You might could take a couple of tips here and there from me, but you have no idea of my mindset and how I really operate. Most people don't know that I really get up at four every morning. You know, regardless of what time I, I get with the bed. And every morning I am correcting an issue and adjusting something from the day before. Does that make me perfect? No. That just means I'm in tune with my trifling ass. Like I know what I need to do to do better. And either I'm going to do it or I'm going to cry about it. And you know, it's not like an overnight situation. And so I need people to understand that everything we do affects where we're going. And, and and where we are. Like the decision your ass made 10 years ago is why you're in the situation you're in. Some of y'all, the decision you made last night is why you're looking crazy this morning. But the reality, this is real world. So deal with it, swallow it, and keep going. I mean, it just is what it is. And you have to understand, you gotta be gentle with yourself, but then you gotta put your own foot in your own ass sometimes. I'm just keeping real. Like, I do it on a daily basis. I will, like, I'll see something going left, and I'll be like, okay, you got two choices, Miss Ward. You can go ahead and be an angry black woman, or you can take this opportunity to grow and change and mature. You know, y'all got to understand, y'all got to know how to talk to yourself and get you together. This is why people love my character, because you come for one of my kids, you know, whether they be in a plans gear or one of my children I've raised, or one of the people I mentored through life, like right now, Pablo about to make me snap right now. See, y'all see it's raining out here, right? This dude on me, and I'm just trying to drive as cautiously as possible and stay focused because I know I'm on the road with some fools who got up on the wrong side of the bed. I mean, every time I do a video, we having this conversation. But the reality is I'm clear. I'm gonna let Pablo get his little ass around and slide his ass right in the back of somebody because he's an idiot. But that's okay. 
at the end of the day, I believe in winning. And I'm trying to win for the long term, which means I have to take my time. I have to adjust accordingly. And I have to do what I need to do to get me in order. Because what y'all don't understand, everything starts with you. It starts with your mindset. It starts with the people you associate with. Like every morning, me and Gio basically talk. Gio is inspiration for me. He think I'm inspiration for him, but he's really inspiration for me. We talk about uh, pre-gaming. We talk about the issues we had with drives, jobs the day before. Like he just sent me a text, a long ass book telling me about how he was working on the dishwasher and he dodged the bullet because he went underneath to turn the uh, faucet. It wasn't working. The damn thing broke and went, you know, whatever. But the reality is is that we all, these are real life situations. So Gio, when he first started, may have had a different reaction than Gio who's matured into his business and the, the challenges he faces on a daily basis. And that's what I need people to understand. You have to get out here and face these challenges. You have to take a deep breath and go one step at a time. Don't get out here trying to do 10 jobs in a day. Start with one or two. You know, I hear people complaining, but I'm like, you better learn how to do the one and two right. And then you need to be grateful for those, and then more will come. And see, like me, I have a boutique applying business, which basically means ghetto baby terms. Uh, I work on what I want to work when I want to work on. Reality. I have my favorite appliances. I'm not touching nothing I'm not comfortable with because I'm not going to do a disservice to me, number one, or the customer. And if I'm not at the level I feel confident to do something, I'm not going to do it. Now, am I going to run away from it forever? No. Like, for instance, I have been forced right lately to do dishwashers. I hate them. But the reality is they are a simple-ass machine. They have the simplest schematics. They got the sim. I mean, look, what does it do? It starts, the first thing it does is drain water. It does not. not. Why does it drain water? Because it needs to make sure that everything is clear before it starts refilling and putting clean water on top of dirt. It's that simple. There's a damn water valve. There's power that goes so many voltages go to the water valve, triggers it to go boom, boom, boom. Understand those processes. You know, it has a float in it to measure when it gets to a... Like, it's that simple. You know, it has a door switch. You know, it's not that difficult. But the bottom line is, is we put fear in places where we can have excellence. So you have to realize, get out of your own way, believe in yourself, and wherever you weak at, you ain't got to tell nobody except maybe somebody. Like, Gio pretty much knows all my weaknesses when it comes to the technical side. And so I will call him, I'll go over schematics, I'll go over things, I'll ask him his approach. Like, we were just talking about a Mila he worked on last night. You know what I mean? Yesterday. And we had talked about that damn Mila before it got here, but he showed up and showed the hell out. You feel me? So at the end of the day, he was prepared. He was able to work on a Mila microwave, or I like to call it a speed oven because it's the setup. You know, and he that job was $1,400. But that, if he didn't have the skill set and if he was running away from Mila, guess what? He wouldn't have made that paper. The reality is, is you got to step out and step up. And that starts with you believing in yourself focusing on your goals and developing mastery. Mastery comes from repetition and holding yourself accountable. Like me, in order for me to master my, my round brown treadmill and workout exercises, I have to get my round brown butt up early and I have to apply. Whether I'm doing kettlebell swings, whether I'm doing barbell, whether I'm doing, you know, my favorite, which is back exercises and bench press. All, look, it's something I gotta do. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I can't complain. This morning, I made my smoothies. They didn't look right, so I kept working until I got them right. You know what I'm saying? They need to taste right, the texture need. Like, I'm particular like that. But the key is, I know in order for me to be excellent, there are things I have to do. And there are things I need to do for me to be in the proper mindset, to get out here in the rain at 631, en route to a customer to take care of them and provide the level of excellence I would expect for a professional to do for me in my own home. Hold yourself accountable, people. That's the name of the game. And get your skills up to a point you can be proud. I'm not, I'm the one of the people, I don't feel like you need to be able to walk on every, work on everything. I feel you can pull one appliance, one, and excel at it and make a killer. That's my personal opinion. Because when you're the best at whatever you do, people can't hold you back. They can't come for you. There's very little they can do a second. You know? 
at the end of the day, you gotta own you, your experiences, and your destiny. And the only way for you to take charge of your destiny is number one, believe in yourself. Number two, hold yourself accountable and master whatever it is you want to do and then move on to the next. Because it's not gonna take forever. It takes confidence and repetition. Like I hear these people on these seal systems, da, 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 da. And let me tell you something. You better work on every one you can and you better get it down and get a process. Like right now, I have a complete process, but I am totally on top of when I go to an appliance repair, how I communicate with the customer, how my tools are set up. In my mind, I'm visually doing a repair before I get there because it's just like in sports. You hear these athletes that go work out and they run these plays and they study the plan, the book, they study the film, and they look at their work on their weaknesses. They work on where they know they need to develop agility. It's the same concept. When you look at a Kobe Bryant, with the Mamba mentality. When you look at a Michael Jordan, at the end of the day, these guys are the GOAT because they grind. Same thing with LeBron. You know, the reality is, get your shit together. I said it, sorry you too. But damn, really? I'm sorry. I swear, if I hear one more grown ass person crying, it's gonna be a problem. Because you know I'm not the one. I don't wanna hear your problem. I don't wanna hear you don't have no work. Well, what have you done? Oh, you following something. And then y'all out here with this damn free 99. You really think you're going to learn something by looking at all these YouTube videos and you don't have the expertise to apply it. Then you come pay somebody like a coach like me. And I give you advice and you do a little bit, do a little bit there. Man, let me tell you something. If you don't apply this and make it work for you, it's on you. That's what my whole issue is. Y'all got to take some damn responsibility for it. I'm telling you. I know every time I have an issue in my business, I look at one person, that's mine. If I trusted a sub that I knew that was questionable, if I was uncomfortable in the customer space and I dealt with them anyway. You, we all have signs, <clears throat> but you have to listen and you have to be certain about your moves and then make a decision and deal with the consequences of that damn decision and man and woman up. It's that simple. Okay, I'm getting off my sub box because I got to go and, you know, do other things but the reality is I had to stop myself because I could see I was about to go somewhere y'all really ain't ready for but like I said I tell people all the time I'm gonna tell you what your mom and your daddy didn't tell you now what you do with it is what you will because if I didn't care about you I'd be out here blowing smoke up your ass like the rest of these YouTubers that's not Miss Ward Miss Ward gonna give you the game and this is coming from experience because I don't want you to hurt I don't I, I want you to miss some of the missteps I made I want you to be great than you already are. I want you to be successful, you know, in your own eyes and the eyes of others. And some of y'all ain't never heard that. Y'all ain't never heard somebody say, I love you, I believe in you, and you can do it. Well, guess what, damn it? This war does. And if anybody got a problem with it, tell them come see me, okay? All day. So with that said, I love you guys. Y'all better get out here and get this bag. Solid steppers, keep stepping. And my take the tight students, you know we got you. Let's go get it.